So going through the US, are we seeing a shift, a clear shift in booking patterns? I remember uh, five years ago, one of the established brokers saying no one would ever book by app. Now, lots of people are booking by app. Would you agree? I mean, I, I think it's, it's clear that you have uh, people like Get Smarter uh, opening up the industry to a completely new set of clients. I mean, redefining something that, that no one thought had value. Uh, and, and just changed how we talk about uh, distribution, seat sharing, etc., etc. They have pioneered it. Uh, it's driven by uh, technology. I think it will continue to do so. Uh, and there are more and more entrants going in and, and, and trying to find their niche on it. So, so yeah, there's more coming for sure. If I'm an existing charter broker with a great book of clients, what should I do now to stop myself being disrupted? So I think for me, you have to be investing in getting ready for So, So it's not like it's going to shift overnight in terms of everything's happening you know, digitally and everything's being booked online, but I think you have to be investing in a world where you're ready to do that. So I think if you're not investing in kind of your core systems and core capabilities and getting your data ready to be digital, then you're probably making a mistake. Because everyone will not sell online and everyone shouldn't sell online. But I think it's clear that if you don't have an electronic background, a digital backbone uh, that allows you to serve your customer in, in, in the way they expect it. Uh, and you can't do that with manual processes today. And you need to integrate backwards into the operators that you work with and be able to facilitate that information to the end client. It's harder today to send data to the end client and, and constantly keep up with all the changes that happen, post something that's been booked, and it actually is to find a uh, private jet in the first place. I think there are small steps that a, a broker or an operator can take. I mean, it should be easy to make to do business with you as an operator or as a broker. You shouldn't have to ask the client to print the, an agreement and sign it and scan it and fax it back. There are small steps that you can take to just, you know, take those small baby steps into sort of uh, making your business more uh, more high tech. And and uh, it doesn't you don't have to build a full app and do all that at once. But you know, slowly but surely, adapt your organization to a more sort of technology focused and than uh, maybe what you've done uh, previously. So you're a global company, but would you say that US operators and brokers are ahead of European or Asian ones? In terms of adopting technology, I wouldn't say so. I mean, I think especially on the broker front, there's been a lot of drive in Europe um, for people adopting kind of that digital front. Um, perhaps maybe on the operator front, there's been a bit more adoption, but yeah, I think there's a healthy mix. I think the advantage the U.S. broker service that they're catering to one huge market, national wide and national market versus, I mean, a German or a French or an English broker, and the amount of money that's being raised in in, in uh, the U.S. is, of course, further emphasizing and and, and putting a spotlight on the industry. Uh, I mean, there is a lot of easy. I would believe that it's easier to innovate in the U.S. with a coherent, homogeneous customer group. Uh, and one set of regulations uh, um, versus in Europe or, or if you expand outside of Europe, it becomes a lot more complex. So there's a lot of hype about millennials. Are they really that different? Yeah, I mean, I think as a, as a base consumer, if you look at other industries, they are different. Um, I think perhaps it's a bit, we're, we are talking a lot about them in our industry, but it hasn't quite had the impact yet. But I think certainly that it's, it's coming. There are, they are different as their consumer behavior. They've grown up with technology in a way that generations before them haven't. And I would say that we probably have more millennials working in the industry than we have millennials actually affording a private jet. So I think that the biggest impact millennials have right now is actually challenging operators and brokers in how they work. And, and that you do not want to be a paper pusher at an operator or broker doing the same monotonous task of copying one email to another email and then putting it into an FMS. I mean, I cry sometimes when I, when I see what people are doing. I mean, it's like, how do you have these highly intelligent people doing this over and over again? And then you hear that the turnaround time, uh, turnover time is six to nine months. But so, so I think the millennial impact is that they are changing the industry from the inside. They don't have the money yet in order to change from the outside. But sure, they are different. I mean, uh, they, they are a blessing and a curse to work with because they come with technology uh, uh, built into the DNA. Uh, but sometimes you have to argue with them, pick up the phone and call rather than go on open table to make a reservation.
I mean, I, I, I agree with Pear. I think the millennium, the, the, the push and the effect that the millennial generation is having is inside companies and driving technology from the inside and rather than, than the outside. And then I think there needs to be a, you know, a healthy mix of technology and you know, hands-on being able to talk to, to somebody. It is a customized service at the end of the day, uh, but I think it's a, a healthy push uh, to get, move this industry forward a little bit. Great, thanks very much.